Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shahad, if you don't know me already. And if you hear noises, it's because my baby sister is here with me today. Say hi. Say, look, say hi. Hello. <laughs> baby sister's here today. Um, I'm doing this video because uh, I feel inspired and I wanted to do it. And, okay, do you want this? Here you go. She loves makeup. Ready at such a young age. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, okay. Good job. So, for today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a look that depicts this beautiful lipstick that I bought from Colleen Ballinger. I love her. I love her so very much. And I wanted to do a look that inspired that is inspired by her like makeup and her lipstick. And here it is. I actually have it right here. It's so beautiful. Um, I love it so very much. Um, and so here it is. Uh, it says Colleen in it, and it's such a nice like pinky peach nude kind of shade. Yeah, so I'm gonna use this as my inspiration for my makeup look. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. So I've already primed my face. What I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna add some foundation onto my face. P.S. I'm no professional. <laughs> let's go. By the way, I prefer using um, a beauty blender and my foundation uh, instead of using a brush. I don't know why, it just feels weird using a brush, I'm not used to it. So I'm way used to using the beauty blender and also it like, gets into places where a brush can't. So I love it. So that's it, I have my foundation on, just my base. Here is my face before the makeup look. So next I have my concealer. Um, I'm going to apply it under my eyes, I'm going to apply a little bit on my nose, and then I'm going to apply a little bit on my forehead, and just a tad on my chin. What I do when it comes to the under eyes, I use the like pointy part of my beauty blender, and so I blend it in by dabbing it out. And instead of going out with the with the concealer, I move inwards um, towards my eye. So it goes from up here and around there, like that. Because then it brings in your face and it, um, it highlights your eyes and this area instead of like all of this area. I don't know why I'm saying this. I'm, I'm still a beginner and I'm pretty sure all of you guys know more than I do, but yeah, that's my tips. <laughs> I'm going to be doing just a tad bit of um, contour. Now, you probably are thinking, Shahab, why do you have a fan brush on you and not an actual uh, powder brush? Well, for me, because we're doing a more like natural base so that the eyes can be like the big, you know, spectacular thing, I don't wanna go in too, too much with the um, powder. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dabbing this big fan brush. It's really, really big. It's actually huge, but I'm going to use this big fan brush. I'm going to dab into the powder. As you can see, the flyaway is crazy. Um, I'm going to dab into it. You can actually see the flyaway there. Yeah. So I'm going to dab into it. And so it's just a very, very light coverage. And so I'm just going to go over my skin with it. Um, because this fan brush is able to go into like places that my like beauty blender or other brushes can't so it just it just gives it a light coverage of um, powder so it's not too too crazy if that makes any sense so this is helps for um, setting the skin in place so yeah I'm just gonna go over it a little bit more with the powder just like this And 
and there you go. Now before I use um, a little bit of spray to set everything in place, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add some contour. I don't want to do too much, just a little bit to add a little bit of definition onto my cheekbones and a little bit onto my, um, my chin. But other than that, not really. It's more natural look. As I said, the base isn't going to be the craziest part. So, yeah. I'm using the um, Rebel London uh, 3 set. It's the um, contour, highlight and blush. And there you go, just a tad bit, not too much. So I'm just gonna grab my spray. Now my spray has a lot of scrunchies on it because I don't know where else to hold them, so it has a lot of scrunchies there. And I'm going to um, use this, I don't know what brand this is. It's the Nyx NYC Professional Makeup um, one. And yeah, it's Bear With Me, I think that's what it says. I'm just gonna use this. This is this primer and setting spray, two in one, which I really like. There you go, so the last thing for the face, oh no, 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 it's two more steps, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding a little bit of blush, I'm going to dab into the KD blush, uh, this one, the same three, but I'm going to use the blush instead, um, I really like this, recommend if you're just starting off and you want to have like all three in one, it's really good, um, so I'm going to dab into the blush colour, it's more of a peachy pink, That's how it looks like this. So far, this is how it looks. So next, I'm not going to do my highlight just yet. I want to do this last. Um, I'm going to put that for last, but now let's move on to the eyes. I'm going to try and angle this so that it's closer. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dabbing into the Jaclyn Hill um, palette. This is volume two. And then I'm going to dab into the palette of Rebel London. This is the... Magnify Eyes Electric Violet Edition um, Eye Control Palette, which is really cool. Um, so this is the palette. It's kind of dirty. I've had this for a really while. This one's sort of new. So what I'm going to be dabbing into is I'm going to be dabbing into the colors, into the shades, should I say. I'm going to be dabbing into the Therapy Sesh and Not My Journey. These two, oh, yikes. So these two are going to be the colors that I'm going to dab into right here and then I'm going to be dabbing into the colors of oh they don't have any name but I'm going to be dabbing into this and this these two together I'm going to mix them together as my high um as my lighter shades right there um I'm doing this because the cover of Colleen's um Colleen's lipsticks is they have a very lavender it's lavender and then they have like a nice um, darker purple um, for there and then right here there's like a really really dark purple this is darker than this one it's more lighter than that right there so I'm going to be using those three tints and colors and those are the closest that I can find on these two palettes so that's what I'm going to be doing so to start off my look I'm going to grab a blending brush um, this is from the Jessup collection all the way all the brushes I got is from the Jessup collection um, I really like those ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab into the mid-tone shade, which is the Therapy Sesh, this one right here, and I'm going to put that on my crease area right there. So, there we go. There we go. So now it's a more uh, properly shade, even though it looks pink on the camera. Um, I'm going to be going into, just using this one, just in general, I'm going to go into 
that oh. using a more defined blending brush I'm going to go into the red um, the darker shade and I'm going to just dab that in and so I'm going to have a lot of that and I'm going to put that in just the crevice area to put to make it pop you know that dark edge I guess And then I'm just going to go in with the purple right here again, and I'm going to blend it out with this blending brush. So now that I'm cleaning my eyes, I'm just going to add a little bit of a highlight um, in my eyes just to add it, give it a little bit of a color, you know, a little bit of a, a boost. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab into this white kind of shade right here. Oh, the light is not greatest. Um, so I'm going to dab into that and this white shade right here. It's called I'm In It. <laughs> And there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some mascara. So just quickly, I'm going to try on my waterline, I'm going to add a little bit of color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab into those light shades on my palette. Here it is. I'm going to dab into the lighter shades and I'm going to add that just a tad bit under my eyes and my waterline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of highlight. I'm going to go into that three uh, colors again. I'm going to use the highlight just here. Really nice, uh, just white kind of peachy, uh, creamy kind of color. There you go. I'm just gonna go over just a little bit on my cheeks and same thing on the other side. Very, very light. Now I'm going to grab my spray and I'm going to spritz my face with my setting spray. Now that it's dried off, you're probably wondering, Shahad, you haven't done any lip. Um, that's because I'm going to be using Colleen's lipstick. So I'm going to use this one as my lipstick. I really love it. As it is, um, it's more nudie pinky, so it's not going to clash so very much with the um, eyes that I've done, which is really extreme. Um, it looks more pinkish here, but trust me, it's more purpley in real life. Um, I'll show you a close-up so you guys can see it. But I'm going to apply some of Colleen's lipstick. I love it. That's it. So with that done, and this is her lipstick, really really love it, here's the heart on top, and here is the product, really shiny, I love it. By the way, this is the shade of Daisy May, and I really love the look that came out. Um, I'll show you guys a close up of the look. So here is the final look, 
I think this turned out pretty, pretty well. I don't know about you, but I think this turned out okay. Um, I'm not that great at makeup, so, so I think it turned out better than I expected it to be. Um, I 100% recommend buying Colleen's thing. Of course, it's not an ad or anything, but I really, really love her and I wanted to do this for her. 100% um, recommend. Here is the lip. It's really, really nice, kind of peachy, pinky color, and I think this really suits the look that I went for. Um, I'm going to quickly bring it out of the package. There you go. Um, and I love it. 100% recommend. So yeah, I want to thank Colleen Ballinger for this lipstick. I really, really love it and enjoy it. And if you guys want to see anything else, um, any other item or merch you guys would like to see me inspire my look on, then comment that down below and other video ideas you like, you would like to see me do. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it and it helps out my channel a lot. Um, and subscribe down below by hitting the notification button to be notified when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week on Tuesday. Peace my lovies.